All right, first pie guy here. <clears throat> this is my uh, Raspberry Pi Christmas light relay setup. Um, I'm almost done with this, so I figured I'd do a video. <clears throat> so what you're looking at here is, I got four two gang boxes with eight uh, receptacles. And I have the hot side cut on the receptacle, so uh, each one is a different plug. So I got total 16 here. So this is a, uh, a nice plastic uh, ammo box that you can pick up off the internet there. So <clears throat> let me take this around a little bit. So what we have here is my antenna, my uh, Wi-Fi antenna, because <clears throat> I don't really need to use a Pi 3 with built-in Wi-Fi for this because, you know, you don't need a fast uh, Pi to do this. So I had a Raspberry Pi B Plus just laid around. So... Uh, figured I would use that plus the Wi-Fi that's built into the Pi 3 might not be strong enough where this will be and a box covering it to keep the weather out of it so <clears throat> it may not work the greatest anyway so anyway we'll open this up and uh, I'll show you a little bit more what's inside here my hammer here to hold this up a little bit <coughs> so what you're looking at here is I had the main power coming in behind the unit here into this uh, receptacle that has uh, two USB ports on it does 4.8 uh, amps plus two regular receptacles there let me see if I can rotate this a little, little bit. <clears throat> so, I have two eight channel solid state relay boards here stacked on top of each other. And uh, so anyway, my power comes in comes in here, supplies power to the receptacle. Then I came off of the receptacle and ran my neutral and my ground up to here. <clears throat> then I ran a hot wire over to here. I'll lift this up here then. So there's all different ways that you could do this, but I figured, you know, a trial and error. So I uh, <clears throat> figured I'd just do it the way I did it, and it'll be it. So anyway, I have my uh, my wires coming in from the boxes. They come through here. I got four holes, one per each box. Then my wires come in, and I have... Uh, my neutrals all over here. These four here and these four grounds here all come from the bottom uh, two of the two gang boxes and the same up here come, goes to the ones up top here. So <clears throat> then I just use some different color trank just so I know which group of uh, four hots are coming from so not that you really need to run use heat shrink but everybody does it their own way so I mounted my pie here <clears throat> coming out with the USB over here to a uh, Eddie Max uh, Wi-Fi adapter with a little pigtail on it. So, 
try to move it and get it in the light a little. I have the f the first eight channels hooked up to the pie and working. I just got to hook up the uh, other eight to it. Uh, right in here is where the neutrals uh, tie together. But uh, that come from the receptacle or wherever. Then I just jumpered and hooked in the two power and the relay board. Then I just have jumpers going from uh, relay to relay. Little pigtail jumpers like. <clears throat> so. I started a part list on my website. I'll throw a link in the description in the video of this to my website that shows more pictures of this setup. And uh, I started a part list, so it'll take me a little bit maybe to finish that. But uh, I'll make another video of, uh, <clears throat> of it running and uh, see if I can get the other eight channels uh, to work but uh, took a lot of time doing this because I I crimped and soldered each uh, terminal for each receptacle and for the terminal strip and everything so it took a lot of time to <laughs> go through and solder all this stuff but uh, it's well worth it get a good connection and a safe connection so but uh, anyway stay tuned for the last video part three of the uh, Christmas light setup